There are just too many good shows to choose from. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Super Bowl Halftime Shows. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at 10 more Super Bowl halftime shows that wowed audiences with their production, extravagance, and star power. If you don't see a performance you think should have been on this list, be sure to check out our original Top 10 Super Bowl halftime shows. Number 10. The Who – Super Bowl 44 What better group to have perform at the Super Bowl halftime show than one of the best classic rock bands of all time? The Who's performance consisted of a medley of hits, including Pinball Wizard, Baba O'Reilly and Who Are You?, and each song was accompanied by a beautiful synchronized light show. The crowd went wild and sang along, complete with a particularly rousing We Won't Get Fooled Again. It really doesn't get much better than enjoying a few beers, eating some chicken wings and pizza, and rocking out to these classic tunes. Number 9. The Black Eyed Peas, Slash and Usher, Super Bowl 45 Sure, the Black Eyed Peas might have seemed a little overwhelmed at Super Bowl 45. They were missing their characteristic energy, and they've definitely sounded better. But their appearance was something of a historical turning point for the halftime show, with dance pop and extravagant production taking center stage. And man, what a lineup of hits! Slash and Usher were also there to add some classic rock and R&B flavors to the proceedings. It was a performance that changed the direction of halftime shows from the dad rock of The Who and The Rolling Stones to the more wide-reaching, bombastic productions of the 2010s. Number 8. A Tribute to Motown's 40th Anniversary – Super Bowl 32. The halftime of Super Bowl 32 was a tribute to classic Motown artists and featured notable R&B performers like Boys to Men, Smokey Robinson, and The Temptations. And what you think of it depends largely on your appreciation for R&B. Yes, it contained the usual production shenanigans like synchronized dancers, giant records, and fireworks, but the music itself was relatively subdued. No deafening guitars, no weird auto-tuned vocals and stadium-rousing choruses, just people on stage singing their hearts out. The show celebrated music history while being entertaining in its own right, although, yeah, Martha Reeves did not sound her best. Just ignore that part. Number 7. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Super Bowl 42 And we're back to the classic rock. The Super Bowl really goes through stages, doesn't it? Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers performed at Super Bowl 42 and played through all their big hits, including American Girl, Free Fallen, and Running Down a Dream. There's nothing fancy about this gig, no extravagant light show and not a single dancer. Can you believe that? Not one dancer. It's just an iconic American band doing what they do best and giving the audience the time of their lives. It was great in its time and it's even better looking back. Oh, we miss you, Tom. Number 6. Tapestry of Nations, Super Bowl 34 Ladies and gentlemen, for the Super Bowl 34 halftime show, we proudly present a Disney-produced show narrated by Edward James Olmos. Uh, what? That sounds like an utter disaster, but it was an experiment that we believe paid off handsomely. The show consisted of a full orchestra, an 80-person choir, and various singers like Phil Collins, Christina Aguilera, and Tony Braxton. It looked and sounded like a live-action Disney movie, a symphony hall, and a modern Super Bowl production all rolled into one. And the results were certainly unique. It was something daring and new, and we have to give the entertainment planners props for trying it out. Number 5. Diana Ross – Super Bowl 30. The 90s were a transitional time for halftime shows. Case in point, Super Bowl 30, which blended the music of Diana Ross with modern spectacle. And you know what? It worked we got the spectacular image of Ross singing Stop in the Name of Love atop a sparkling platform, and then the visual wonder of performers fanning out across the field in a stunning, colorful kaleidoscope. Diana Ross, pyrotechnics, and stadium card stunts might have been an unexpected combo, but she sure put on one heck of a show. Number 4. Coldplay, Beyoncé, and Bruno Mars – Super Bowl 50 When you think of the modern Super Bowl halftime shows, this is probably the one that comes to mind. This 50th halftime was both a celebration of the year's popular artists and a tribute to the halftime shows of old, and it's one of the most spectacular things you will ever see on TV. Coldplay performed their hits in a beautiful array of colors, Bruno Mars slayed Uptown Funk, and Beyoncé and her personal army of dancers entered through a haze of fireworks and sparkles. Everything was magnificent, from the production design to the music to the theatricality, which of course included a lot of fantastic dancing from both Bruno and Beyoncé. They don't get much more sensational than this. Number 3. Katy Perry – Super Bowl 49 
We say they don't get much more sensational, but one could certainly argue that Katy Perry put on the more visually spectacular show. She rode in on a 20-foot-tall mechanical lion and left on a floating star for crying out loud. But the whole thing wasn't just breathtaking theatrics, as Katy Perry proved to be a magnificent and confident performer. She totally commanded both the stage and the audience, and performed through a dazzling production that must have cost a small fortune. Plus, it gave us Left Shark, which is probably one of the most memed things to ever come from a Super Bowl. This halftime show really did have it all. Number 2. Stevie Wonder, Gloria Estefan and Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, Super Bowl 33. The halftime show of Super Bowl 33 was titled A Celebration of Soul, Salsa and Swing, a promise that it more than delivered on. It started with a fun swing sequence, complete with suited performers and dozens of synchronized dancers, before transitioning into the soulful sounds of Stevie Wonder. Gloria Estefan closed the show with an energetic and colorful performance that left the audience reeling. The whole thing came across as more of a wild party than a produced show, and it's clear that both the performers and the audience were having a fantastic time. Few halftime shows were as fun as this one. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Paul McCartney, Super Bowl 39. Paul McCartney may seem like a safe bet for a halftime show, and that is entirely by design. Just one year earlier was the infamous Janet Jackson Justin Timberlake fiasco, and wishing to avoid another potential controversy, the producers decided on the always safe and consistently delightful Paul McCartney. Paul dazzled with fan favorites like Get Back and Live and Let Die before launching into the stadium rousing Hey Jude which predictably had all 78,000 in attendance singing and humming along. The whole thing was a brilliant blend of old-fashioned rock and feel-good music, and there's nothing quite like hearing that many people come together in song. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.